we getting to the point where we're in danger here? I, I, I think yes. New Mexico legislators are looking to balance the state budget on the backs of your school district. For the third time in just over a year, the state faces a big budget hole. And for the third time in a little over a year, public schools could face the axe. Something Santa Fe Public Schools CFO Carl Grunler isn't thrilled about. Is there a part of you that's frustrated thinking, you know, it's not our job to bail the state out? Oh. Well, of course. I mean, we're all in this together, though. If the governor were to sign this bill, it would mean about a $50 million cut from schools across the state, $2 million of that coming from right here in Santa Fe. Grunler tells us that could have been a lot more under different proposals. The proposal targets money that districts have saved in their cash reserve funds. It's basically a savings account set aside for daily operations and emergencies. And any district that has cash reserves under 3% of their operating budget won't see a cut at all. Last week, Albuquerque Public Schools sent out a letter warning that proposed cuts could see them lay off as many as 750 employees. Layoffs are something Santa Fe schools are trying to avoid. So that would be a last resort. You know, however, you know, depending on the severity of the situation as it evolves, um, you know, we'll have to, we'll just have to be open. And while the budget gap is tough for schools to handle, Grindler says he's confident they can weather the storm. Difficult spot, you know, we'll all just have to figure it out and be responsible. Reporting in Santa Fe, David Carl, KOAT Action 7 News.